Hi, I'm Amanda from the Psychology Department Student Success Center. Today we're going to be talking about how to read a journal article. In this video, we'll talk about how to read a journal article efficiently. We'll discuss what a journal article is, what the different parts are, and some strategies for creating a summary. First, what is a journal article? A journal article is published in an academic journal and is typically written by an expert and focuses on research relating to a particular discipline. Newspaper or magazine articles aren't as detailed or rigorously reviewed as journal articles. Journal articles follow a specific format so that information is easier to find. A journal article will have seven distinct sections, the abstract, introduction, methods, results, discussion, and conclusion, and references. Many times, the discussion and conclusion sections are combined. The abstract is a short section at the beginning of a paper. It's usually a shortened version of the article, and it contains important aspects of the background and methods, and will typically include the take-home message of the article. The researchers may include their findings, but they may not be very specific. This is a great place to start, but keep in mind that it's already a summary, so if your assignment is to create a summary, your professor wants you to summarize the article, not the abstract. The introduction comes right after the abstract. The main focus of this section is to identify the topic or problem, describe the research that has already been done, and make a case for the current research. It's sort of the sales pitch that tells the reader why they should care. You can also find the research questions for the study in this section. Importantly, the hypothesis is typically in the last paragraph of the introduction. Next is the method section. The method section explains how the study is conducted. There are three common subsections in the overall method section, participants, materials, and procedures. The participant subsection discusses the people in the research study and will include information like gender, age, and demographics. The material subsection will include information about any equipment used, like surveys, measures, and softwares. The procedure subsection will discuss the steps used in the experiment from start to finish. After the method section is the results section. The results section describes the data collected and the statistical analysis used. It may also use tables and figures to illustrate key data points. It is important to note that a results section is an unbiased snapshot the data collected from the experiment. The discussion section of a journal article is where researchers will interpret the results that were discussed previously. This section is where researchers will talk about what their findings mean, whether their hypothesis is supported or not, the significance of their study, and any limitations within their study. Researchers will also connect the study's current results to past literature. In the conclusion section, the author will summarize their findings and highlight their significance. They may also describe future directions for research. So, now that we know about the different parts of a journal article, let's talk about how to efficiently get the information you need. Starting with the abstract should give us a pretty good idea of the article's main points, but it's important to go more in depth. Reading the introduction will give you a better idea of the purpose of the study. Once you understand the introduction, you can jump down to the discussion to read about the findings in more detail. After these three steps, you can begin looking into the methods and results section to give you a complete image of the study. It's okay if you don't completely understand the methods or results right away. It's common to look certain terms and tests up in order to understand better, particularly when you are just starting out. Hopefully, by the time you get to the methods section, you will already have identified the purpose of the study and hypothesis so you can keep these things in mind when looking at the data. A good strategy is to ask yourself, why did they use these methods to better understand their question, and what do their results tell us about it? Now that you've learned how to read a journal article and what the different parts are, we hope that you feel more confident when reading journal articles and finding information. If you have any further questions, feel free to book an appointment at the Student Success Center website.